Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Forum, your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. In which we gotta read a couple focuses, a couple events and whatnot, um, as we are in our winter war against the Soviet Onion Union. Um, I did already do a Pommy's Devils. Nikkei Pommy's Peanut Battalion has proven to be an effective use of manpower that would have otherwise languished behind bars. We should expand upon his work by creating a division of prisoners who are willing to fight for the country. And in the White Death, as the war came to Finland, many hunters Suozjelskunta militiamen and shooting club marksmen have taken up arms to fight off their oppressors. The Finnish CC flows through them just as they stem off enemy attacks, utilizing the Finnish nature to their advantage. Some of that has come to be known by the enemies as the White Death. It's a good opportunity for propaganda, and Simo uh, a crew as the White Death, because we do have some comes to go through too. The Vipuri sniper Simo Huya, or Huya Ha, who is often referred to by our other soldiers as Taika Ampuja, the magic shooter, for his impressive marksmanship, is now also being accredited as a white death, which up until now has been referred to the harshness of the Finnish nature and its people by our enemies, and the press is pushing the new narrative strongly. What should our official stance be? Propagate tales of this modern Finnish hero. Yeah, that's pretty good. More worse for political power. Manpower. Ooh, 12,000 manpower. The white death is embodiment Finland, not some person. That's a nice chunk of manpower. It's not, now it's not. A, is it a lot? No, but that's okay. We all need some underground resistance cells, so. As the enemy advances, some feds refuse to submit. Small, agile resistance cells take up arms and conduct ambushes, raids, and sabotage. The knowledge of the terrain and the commitment to the cause make them a formidable threat to any invader, no matter how powerful. So, right now we're doing okay. I, 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 I kind of redid some of this because uh, we were doing alright. And I wish we could do more than this. Knowing that forts don't really help out an extreme amount here, which really sucks. So, that's something for me to learn for the future. Uh, so, we didn't reject the request. Uh, I think I did a focus that is... Where? Because we requested help from them. Or cry for help. The Swedish government is responding negatively to our request for aid in the war against the Soviet Union. Preferring to remain neutral and avoid international and internal repercussions, they are so far opposed to contributing to the war in any way. Let's simply realize their mistakes before it's too late. So, our biggest issue is that we have no artillery now. We have a little bit of anti-tank. Now we're holding here for now. We wanted to make sure that we got all of our ports covered as well. We gave up Pizamo here um, and all the naval stuff as well. I just hope we can hold out. We do have uh, some imports coming in, but apparently we're getting sunk and whatnot. So. That's why I wanted the anti tank or anti air just to deal with this stuff too. So, got some field hospitals. It's pretty nice. More recon would be pretty good as well. It's almost 1940 as we're doing the cold front as well. Large winter of the Finnish frost demands proper preparation. Supply routes must be secured and camouflage tactics improved to ensure the resilience of the defense forces in the face of the winter's challenge. As they are trying to destroy themselves on our line. We don't really have an air force either, which really sucks, but you know, what else can you do about it right now? Can you do this at all? Because they're looking pretty bad right now. We're out of artillery, which is not good, and out of anti-air. Artillery, anti-air. We have no other military factories to speak of right now. Unfortunate. Help them out if you can. Help them out if you can. Better upgrades. Well, it's almost 1940. We got all the stuff that we could use here. Let's go through the more research beach, shall we? Oh, he, the White Death has been injured and brought off the battlefield. Reports have come in from the who ha have been severely wounded after an explosive bullet fired by a hostile soldier in his lower left jaw. And while thought to have been dead, he made it back to a nearby base camp to report his safety. He cannot however continue fighting, but he has done enough service for the entire eternity of gratitude for the Finnish people. Nevertheless, he's a true Finnish hero. Alright, so what else do we got here? We have no chiefs for the Navy. We're on extensive conscription. We're on war economy. National defense. Is there anything else we can do about this right now? Honestly, not really. Improving working conditions. Oh, diversify elite forces. Our conventional forces simply aren't enough to combat the oncoming storm. We must be, uh, we must innovate, which is fine with us. War bonds, um, you know what, why not? Gives us one more to work with for now. And I definitely want to do this since we're in any defensive war anyways. Now, we could do special forces, but... Hmm. We didn't choose any of these yet, so... I can't choose that one. Oh god, that's not good. It's very much not good. Uh, 
Go right there. I mean, so far we're holding out ish. Ooh. Not looking good for us, is it? It's January. Um, some council. So it says you can apply the industri military industrial bonuses to your gun trucks and convoys. Um, you need to go to the production tab, modify them like you're modifying a tank or plane to add the bonuses. Before, which we pretty much already have, which is pretty good. It's pretty nice. Thank you for the comment. Um, Twenty-seven thousand cows, just one hundred fifteen thousand. It's not bad so far. It could be more. Uh. Christmas might be really nice. Please tell me they abandoned Leningrad. Oh crap, they didn't. Darn it. That'd be really nice. Uh, some more of this. Yes. Alright then. I, I, We cannot afford to stretch out our lines. But at the same time, I want you to hold. I need to hold. Could you actually do this instead, maybe? We're going up there anyways. Why not? Better radar is nice. Some of this, yes, yes. There you go. Struggle down here. Pretty normal. Ooh, anything else here we got? Ambusher. Filters from Marsh is very cold. Ah, let's go. We'll do this one. Why not? For tactics, well, less defense. Sure, why not? Oh, we immediately started getting attacked. It's not good. Two divisions can't defeat eight, probably. Assuming. Could be wrong. There we go. Hey, we circled two divisions. Now they're only Soviet divisions, but still, that's not bad. Underground resistance cells is good. Multi tactics, organization loss when moving, recon bonus when trench, attacking division speed, winter warfare, supply combat penalties and quartet. Ooh, these are both very good. The multi strategy involves encircling and isolating enemy units with the objective of crippling their logistical and communication lines. In the implementation, this approach requires careful playing and training of the defensive forces to ensure its effectiveness on the battlefield. By utilizing and perfecting the multi warfare, we'll be able to outmaneuver the enemy and strike where they least expect it. Someone says, uh, Funny how the League of Nations didn't end when Italy invaded Ethiopia, or Germany invaded Poland. Guess those transgressions weren't considered more important enough. Someone else says, you can uh, tell the devs have a thing for Finland. Those national spirit bots are ridiculous. Someone says, are you playing Road to 56? Because I have a feeling that the, the focus in Road to 56 is the same as the DLC. Um, considering support for socialists, why does that include democracy support? Someone says, the rise of Pax Finlandia. Um, so. so says, the A with a top circle on it, unless we, and like, uh, and is it pronounced uh. Like Ulan, I thought it was Ulan, but Ulan, probably Ulan or Ulan. Interesting. Someone else says it would be really cool if Paradox had somehow added Simo Heya or Uiha to the finished gameplay. He was a national spirit as a military leader. I still thought that was cool that they mentioned him indirectly. Well, we still have him here, so it's cool. It is fantastic. Any more divisions? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we need that. Ah, it's because they have a, a port here, too. Oh, this is not ideal, is it? Not ideal whatsoever. And they're slowly breaking our lines, too, a little bit. So not good. Especially with those forts there. Oh, you guys can definitely take this back. That's easy. Port is going right there. Should be able to move fast enough to do that, so... Losses, they're at 185,000, which is decent. Hello. You shouldn't be here right now. Oh god, they are quickly coming in. God dang it, this is impossible to do. It's already March 1st, though. Historically, the Winter War was only three months long, so we're actually holding out decently, even though we're probably going to lose it anyways in the end. 
Bro, I need you right there right now. All right, that's it. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. So, there you go. Put them out. Is there a port here? Do we really need all five? Oh, God, you need ten. How do you need ten? Oh, whatever. Uh, who else is good in defense? Entrenchment speed, honestly, entrenchment speed might actually be worth it this, in this case. So you can't win, probably. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to pull, pull, be pulling back here. Because we just can't do anything here. Stop it, stop it, stop it. We do not need any more losses. Unfinished intelligence, it's not bad. Until game from combat, recon bonus will entrenched. Winter warfare. Prepare for the worst, fight like the best. We need to strengthen the supply routes for harsh winter conditions and train our troops to ensure the cold and keep fighting on the front lines. Not pretty much. that for now. Stop the attack, yeah? You know, force defense. Screw it. They want to die on the line, they can die on the line. I don't care. Hello, that's not good. No strength by the time I'm done with them. How did we lose? I know it's over a river and all, but still. Where are my divisions at? My god. Of course, I did build up the forts quite a bit, still. So. I hope we keep taking attrition. We lost 80,000 to the 300,000 ish. Oh crap. Wait, where's my where are my guys? Oh, we've lost this war. If they're landing, we have completely lost it. What 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 are you doing? no sense. The peanut battalions, it's okay, they can use them up like that. Um, what are you, why did you leave? Winter Warfare, you know there's a Sami. More initiative is good, Spy combat penalties is a core territory. More reconnaissance, more movement, yeah. Must recognize the unique skills of the Sims, uh, Sami people. We're expert navigators in the harsh Arctic terrain. By utilizing the knowledge of the land, we can improve our reconnaissance capabilities, and by pulling them as reindeer shepherds, uh, shepherds, we can improve our supply lines in remote areas. The Sami can play a vital role in our defense strategy, and we must ensure their expertise is fully utilized.
Marika on reinforce rate, good. Yeah, they're just breaking through here. What are you doing? We just don't have enough of anything. I know we can't buy anything, can we? I'm monitoring stuff away if we can buy like artillery. Uh wait, so is that ours? Yeah, okay, so that's ours. Interesting. They have 82. We have no convoys. Artillery. Something here. We need at least something to fill up our line. Right here. And now we need some support equipment as well. Hey, it looks like we're looking at the line sort of back. Hey, convoy, I'll take a convoy, even though we need a convoy to deliver that convoy. Kind of weird, but whatever. I don't think I'm going to be researching nuclear tech soon. But you know, it could be wrong. It could be very, quite wrong. Join the Axis, second Vienna Award. My God, there's just nothing we can do about this. And now we're going in there. Vacation efforts, that's fine. And there you go. We cannot lose this tile. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, we've a dead anti tank. Can I throw that on our guys? Ooh, winter logistics companies. Winter logistics, that's unique. Snow, attack, movement, and defense. Ooh, we don't have field. Do we not have field hospitals yet? Oh god, that's a giant mistake. We have to have field hospitals. Yeah. That's a Sami long range patrols, um, born armor. Now, as much as armor would be nice, we don't really need armor. Armor, the lone wolf. I'll reach out to Scandinavia because we do want cooperation with Germany. Most of the Scandinavian neighbors share our sentiments of have little interest in being dragged into great power conflicts. By maintaining strong relations with them, we can maybe build foundations for our collective defense. Oh, do we have anything else here? Oh. The multi strategy involves encircling and isolating enemy units to cripple their logistical and communication lines. The implementation of this approach requires careful planning and training of the defense forces to ensure its effectiveness on the battlefield, but it will also allow us to outmaneuver the enemy and strike where they at least expected. Fair in Sala. Preparations will be made for the implementation of multi tactics in Sala. Huh. So. This costs 50, uh, 50 stuff. You are staying there. Stop moving. We just don't have enough of anything here. So when does the Winter War end? Because it's not winter anymore. It's June. <laughs> like, do we have to just manually like capitulate or something, or? Because we we can't we can't just keep doing this. Because 
we are slowly losing here like crazy. Even the Germans aren't doing very well in, in uh, 1940 right now. You know what? Don't even move. Because we don't have enough stuff. I guess this whole uh, international market doesn't work or something. Resistance is not going up high enough. How do we keep losing more and more and more and more and more and more and more? Yeah, we're, we're completely out of style. This market stuff doesn't seem to work very well. It makes no sense. We can't produce anything. We can't buy anything. Hmm. Not pleased. What the hell are you doing? Moderate politics. Stitching similar among the great powers, we ensure that our government is not seen as too lenient upon the ideologies of any faction. Therefore, we must pursue a defense of domestic modernization. Or moderation. Good though. Hmm. A soft attack, efficiency game, reliability. I prefer more soft attack in all honesty. What is this? Oh, that's good. Good that we got that. Hard attack and piercing. Breakthrough. We go advanced barrel forging. Why not? Another division, finally, thank God. Before you know it, it's going to be 1941. Looking better, the dancing ban. As the war continues, an increasing number of politicians and other leading figures are pushing for a ban on public dancing in an effort to show respect and solidarity towards their soldiers fighting on the front lines. These individuals consider it inappropriate to dance at the time of crisis. They say it is our duty to support our troops and show our commitment to the war effort by refraining from such activities, claiming that failure to do so ought to result in fines or even imprisonment. However, other, many others express their disgust at such a proposal, claiming that in other countries, even dancing is encouraged to help people endure the harsh conditions of war. We must all make sacrifices during these trying times, no matter how idiotic they seem. Plainly stupid. Now we need guns too. Please be like guns. Part of it is just that I don't know everything here. The newest DLC. Empty tank. How much empty tank do we have? 121. Start shoving that into here. We definitely won't have enough for that. Oh god. Wait, first though. 
I'm gonna get Purdy back. Hey, that's good though. Keep throwing him on the line. Moderate politics, good. The lone wolf. No one has the interest of the Finnish people at heart more than the Finnish people themselves. History has shown that rather than relying on others to come to rate, we must depend on ourselves. Um, extraction would be bad. We are not. We could. Yeah. I want more research speed, though. A nuclear Finland seems like a good idea to me. But maybe that's just me. Alright, you guys asked for this. God, we've got too many forts here. Fine, whatever. For now. Hmm, military police. So they've lost half a million to us. We've lost only 51,000. Service back for Radar, 1940. I would like to planes, but we can't quite get to planes just yet. It's not good right there. So there's literally no supply right there. I'm sure we can't really build very much anyways. Market, nice. We're going to the market. Uh, guns and artillery, even more guns. All right, so I'm understanding this a little bit better. I like tank stuff, huh? Already, already. Well, the same cost. Whatever it costs to make sure that we get whatever we need. It looks like I, I I really want to know. We have literally no complex for this. How much can we live? Then they're not even taking out Estonia either. We're doing the lone wolf. That's us. Cause we got plenty of manpower, but they're completely out of equipment. So once the Germans start knocking, it's all over them for them. Hopefully, because we're going to head back to the winter, which probably only buffs us. Lone Wolf, nice. Uh, cooperation with Germany. Oh, it's fighting the Winter War. It's not fighting. So we can't even do this. What the heck? So we've had the Winter War for about the last, like, eight months, nine months. It's kind of insane to think about. Weapon caches. Uh, is there anything for... CC? Oh, that would be good to do as well, too. I mean, all is immediately. Long-range patrols. Long-range patrol company. But in the event of our armed forces are overwhelmed if the government falls... Most of contingency plans so that we can retake the nation. Suggested list of secret place caches and weapons for future resistance forces utilized. Now, Finnish uh, radio intelligence. As the war intensifies, the Finnish military is being recognized uh, the importance of gathering reliable intelligence. Under the leadership of Orlando Halama, a group of talented radio operators have been assembled to intercept and decode enemy communications. With the skills and knowledge, these operators will provide valuable information to the Finnish armed forces, helping to turn the tide of the war. I want the purity. We're gonna have it. God dang it. Come on. We will get it eventually. Nice. Low manpower, pretty normal. Our troops will no longer utilize multi tactics in Salas, so our military resources can be located somewhere else. The cost prefer to prepare them. So, really, we could use it here in Quo Pio. Event here is nice. 1940s. Better planes would be good, but still. The death of Kyosti Kalio. We've tragic news, much beloved president of Finland. Kyosti Kalio has died. He's been, been poor health for some time, having already suffered a stroke which paralyzed his right arm. He was on his way home, having just tendered his resignation on health grounds when he suffered a fatal heart attack. Um, and died there at the Helsinki Central Railway Station. The Guard of Honor was playing the patriotic Finnish march. Uh, Porlastian Marasi, Marasi, to bid him farewell from the office of the town's death. Rest in peace. 
So we get Risto Riti, white liberal. Cool. And is going down. Finnish sovereignty threat and concerning sympathy for extremists. More than that, but for democratic or communists. Well, I got to get rid of communism now. Former military government. We could do that one with uh, Carl G. Mannerheim. We could get rid of communism here by doing that, but I think, you know what, since we're here. The current civilian government has displayed weakness in the face of hostility and adversity. Carl G. Mannerheim, who served for country well previously, surely do so again. He must reform the military government to tender every enemy. When Finland's very existence threatened by war, we must take the tough decision to replace our current leader with a military government led by the hero of the Finnish War of Liberty, Field Marshal Carl G. Mannerheim. We need this military experience if we're to have any hope of throwing out the yoke of the invader and saving our fatherland. Mannerheim is taking his new responsibilities with gusto, declaring this war is nothing more than the continuation of the final act of a war of independence. We're fighting for our homes, faith, and country. Mannerheim will handle the situation, being at peace with discreet, pu decreased public trust. <sighs> nice. Look at this guy. Excuse me, please don't lose this. Oh, look at this. Ron Kansa. Oh. Ah, Vision's in the South, too. Although separated by the Baltic Sea, the people of Finland and Estonian independent SSR have a long period of history with one another. Furthermore, uh, we face much of the same challenges as we struggle to maintain independence. Perhaps through unification, peaceful unification. Uh, we can save our people from war. How do we get to militarized society? All don't serve. Oh, screw the barrel. Oh, okay. Greater Finland. Hmm. Long range patrols. Long range patrols become an essential element of the recon and sabotage efforts of the Finnish army now that is facing the challenges of modern warfare. This highly training to specialize in penetrating enemy lines, gathering intelligence, and launching de devastating surprise attacks, making them a crucial asset in our war effort. I think, get your butts over there. They've lost two thirds of a million. That's not enough now for them, apparently. They want to lose more than that. Well, we're going to get this back. The pudi will be ours. Oh, national armor focus. Well, I mean, that's nice and all. I'd rather CC. Get us back to the, our dividing line here. Finally. Preventy tank. Do 40. 40, 40, 41. Um, I might just go here so we can get excavation 4 faster. Or construction 4. No, let's just start doing construction 4. That's nice. That's nice. Production cost goes up, which I don't really necessarily want right now. Defense for everything or breakthrough. Let's get more breakthrough. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Should not have done that. Uh, let me go fix that real quick. Um, someone says, uh, Finland will send strong. Swami Perkel Sisu. So if you should not dominate the Finnish people. Someone says, New DLC. Someone says, I implore you, please, no border gore. Change the Russian government, maybe, but please, no border gore, for the love of God. CC. As conflict rages on, our light infantry CC troops become an invaluable asset to the Finnish army, using their expertise in long-range patrols and ambushes to strike at enemy targets. Armed with superior knowledge of the terrain and the ability to move quickly and silently, they prove to be a thorn on the side of the enemy and a source of pride for the Finnish people. Cool. Foreign armor? I'm, we're doing better. I, and I'll be honest, like, this episode is... This campaign's really for me to understand how everything works here. Um, so, apologize if I was a little cranky earlier. Just because I'm trying to figure out how this all works. Uh, I guess we could... Military society would probably be good to go next. If our nation to survive the onslaught with which we are faced, we must drop the facade of politics and embrace a complete militarization of society. Only through such extreme measures will we vanquish our foes. Maybe we need to get the debuffs right here for that now, but whatever. 
We're still importing more uh, our stuff, and we're, we've actually pushed out further. Like they're still attacking us. We lost two hundred thousand versus almost uh, roughly a million of their soldiers. So we're close to Leningrad. Not quite there yet, but we are a militarized society. Which would be good. We're out a lot of already, but still whatever. I guess we're pushing pretty hard though. Um, supply lines are going to be probably pretty bad for us ourselves, which does suck. Um, grabbing this would be of the utmost importance right now. So we got to go all the way over here, which sucks. Can you just like walk there? Support the attack. Start hit him really hard here. Getting to there would be the most, the best thing. Because they're still attacking our lines. And if we get over there, we can cut off the supply lines. So. Come on, if we just take it, even if you get down here, get down here. Dang it, we can't take it. Not yet. We have planes, nice. The machine guns, good. Um, agility, speed. I think agility is probably the best one, right? Well, we can make them anyways. Oh, what a great over here. Engineering schools, more initiative. That's 4% more initiative no matter what. Military leaders, cause, poverty, poverty, popularity, stability, modifier. It's not bad. We'll get more initiative no matter what, which I do actually quite like a lot. Push them over. Good. Help them out. Right there. You take that. We get supply. And deny them supply as well. No, we don't have the compass, but so what are we missing now? Plenty of artillery. We've got plenty of guns now. Um, infantry equipment. So, going forward in the future, I don't know why this needs convoys. Oh, probably because they're still at war or something. Um, how do I organize this better? Anything that would help. They have no extra artillery, huh? Nice. We're getting there. That's what I was at right here, too. Happy March. Get here, we can help hold the line the entire time. Because right now, that means we're just waiting for the supply to be connected here. Many five days, less than a week. If we can hold for a week, we'll be good. Yeah, make sure this will put less pressure on us. Should be fine doing that by yourself. Do that. All right there. There you go. Yeah, we're doing better though. Very pleased with how we've ended up so far. And the parts that were pretty difficult at some points. This is an issue still. They must have beaten us there. Um, supply. There's a supply truck thing there right there. We're going to have to hold here no matter what. Ooh, but if we get right here. We need more divisions. Good stuff. Broker 
Sniper Sappers, which is not good. Military Society is good, though. Um, what else we got? Slinky Air Defense. Oh, radar station would be nice. As war looms over Finland, Hill Slinky must be fortified. The city and coastline are vulnerable to attack, and it falls upon the Finnish military to protect them. Improved air defenses and coastal fortifications will not only safeguard the city, but also strengthen the nation's resolve. Who is sending assaults? What are we missing here now? Even more arty. Seems to be a pretty common thing. Is there any way I can see this easier? Artillery. Nothing says quality like Afghanistan artillery. That only makes sense, right? I think it only makes sense. Uh, what's another point where we can push in? I think it's pretty good. This one, we need to get to construction. Ah, we got it. Span state military factories. Our state run factories are struggling to keep up with the demands placed upon them by the military during this time of crisis. If we want to maintain supply lines, we need to expand our production and facilities. It'd be great. Oh. So we can't do this one. A new course for Kokumus. Interesting. Daily compliance gain. We're going to strengthen the military administration. But we're not going to keep them. So, dreams of expansionism. Oh, the guy died, though. Oh, sucks. Reduce, reduce costs for states' actions on Soviet cords and the peace conferences, huh? Interesting. Straight up, straight line here. I mean, we're not really... Do we actually have enough military factories? We have quite a few, actually. Now, where's some presets? Eh, we don't have enough guns and stuff for them. Where are we for this occupied territory civilian oversight? That's good. Interesting. That's a great push to the sea. Because soon they're going to have Barbarossa, and once Barbarossa hits, they're done. Why not? Can you do that? All we need is Leningrad next. Heavy MGs. Uh, good. Nice. Air defenses, expand state factories. Take one towel here, we completely cut them off from down here until we push them out and whatnot. Nice. I'm still missing some arty, yeah. 
Always missing the Artie, you know. There's one there. All right. Got plenty of manpower. 1.3 million losses. Very good. Should be able to hit that towel. Wish you a little bit extra help from them. Nice. This person industry is good. do in the south just yet. It's really in the north is everything's got to hit. And see how Barbarossa happens, because it's already July 1st, nothing's happening. I guess I forgot to say, I do have a cup of coffee here too. They're still attacking. So why ruin a good thing, right? Let's be an evil guy. Yeah, it's time to stop attacking completely. Should you actually push over the river? this one, but we don't have to do this one. We might get this guy back. Yeah. Ah. And the great Oe Tikakosi. The boss of the Finnish arms industry, Oe Tikakosi, will be integrated into the state-owned military weapons map factory. This move will increase gun production and enhance the development of new firearms for the Finnish military. That'd be nice. base right there. We need to get here to here. Mm 
This tile's gotta be taken, this guy's gotta be taken. Cut off supply through here, that'll help us out too. Um, what else we got here? Oh, tanks? I don't want to even focus on tanks at all. Medium? Lights? I bet you I like mediums, but I don't know if you'd be able to do, make that. Oh, we have another trade here, huh? Um, Raider fleet? High speed raiding? Subs? More speed, less fuel. More range, less fuel. Well, in either case, we get no fuel. So, max speed, main, main, ooh, fuel usage does go down. I'll go this one. Oh, this is locked. C2 auto. Sure. There you go. Back up them off there, which is nice. So now they're suffering from a lot of supply issues here too, which is good for us. Good. Take till November till we get there. Um, Start closing up the gap here just a little bit more. Be nice. National firepower. Given the pressing external threats that our nation is facing, we must commit to a large investment in new military factories. This facility will be dedicated to producing the latest artillery cannons for our land forces and coastal batteries, ensuring that Finland has the necessary firepower to defend its borders. And back to looking for artillery. Can I like buy auto buy artillery? That'd be so nice. What are the Germans up to? They're still fighting in Greece. I put this on historical for a reason. Oh, and there we go. Cooperation with Germany, finally. We can allow the geopolitical reality that the German Reich and the Soviet Union will ultimately come to blows with one another. If we were to cooperate with the Germans, we may be able to avenge our losses in the prior wars of the Soviets and open up new opportunities for themselves. For ourselves, too. Well, finally, thank God, Jesus Christ, joint scientific program. Developing a technological edge of our foes is going to be the decisive factor in whether a nation emerged victorious from conflict. By pulling our scientific knowledge with our allies, we can show that technological advantage belongs to us. But I think I might end it there, and we'll see in the next episode how everything's going to work out in the end, because, well, the Soviets are going to have to die now. And we've been waiting for this war to end. We've been in the winter war since 1939. So, uh, demand peace negotiations? Oh, request an armistice. Oh, why does this pop up now? Request for an armistice. Oh, wait. So, wait. We request we request it, and then we lose three places. Offer to switch sides in return for peace. Interesting. Finland seeking to join the Allies. Finland wishes to switch sides. Wow. Hey, regardless. I'm going to end there. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below and the early casualties. We've done 99% of the war, but 
they're going to get really smashed really hard. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.